Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Lit Code. In this video, we are going to learn about the explicit weight concept in Playwright. We know that Playwright can handle most of the weight of its own. We don't have to write explicit weight. But in certain conditions, we have to uh, write the explicit weight and we are going to take a look on that. So first thing, we are going to take only one topic that is like how to wait for an alert. For example, uh, if you go to this litcode.in slash weights, here you can see that we have a button called a simple alert. If I click on that, it's going to take few seconds, like five seconds. And after that, I'm going to get this alert and it says like, finally, I'm here just to say hi. Okay. So we can click on OK or dismiss like whatever we want. So already we learned how to handle the alert, but I will just give you a small recap again. Uh, if I try to do the same with like accepting only the alert, it will fail actually. Let me show you. So here I have a very small test, like wait for an alert and we have like steps, okay? So first I'm going to that particular site and then I'm going to say, uh, we are going to enable the listener. So page dot on, and then I'm going to say, I'm going to wait for the dialogue. So here I can say that, and then it should be async and I'm going to receive the dialogue here, or I can say this as an alert. And then I'm going to accept the alert within the callback. Okay. So here before accepting, we'll just lock just to make sure we are getting the alert text properly. Okay. So here I'll say like uh, await alert dot message. Okay. And then we'll accept the alert. So here I'll say like await alert dot accept. Okay. So if you want to pass something to the alert, like the prompt box here itself you can give like double uh, quotes and you can pass your test data but in our case it is not required and for the message we don't have to use the await because it just returns the string promise is not required here okay now then i'm going to click on this button right so here once the listen is then then here i have to click on this button so without even inspecting i can write this because uh, let's go and inspect actually uh, i forgot what is this okay this is a button so i can use this id or else I can use like button uh, colon has text simple alert so since we inspected let's go with this ID itself so I'm going to copy and here I'm going to say await page dot click and then I'm going to say this one right now let's go to our terminal and I'm going to say npm test and if I go to my config file here you can see that we have already given the spec name and here I'm trying something new so I'm using the custom reporter from playwright i will make a video on that in upcoming days okay so here we can see that actually the button is clicked uh, let me run and rerun and show you okay so what happens is basically it will go and click the button but alert will not appear let me show you so here you can see that if you watch carefully you can see some dark uh, like it's clicked actually but you can see that we didn't get any alert and if i search for this right let me write some message here okay so i'm going to say like alert message let me read on this again let's see watch carefully uh, you might not notice but you have to watch little carefully here so now the button is clicked and page got closed very soon right because the click action is uh, done and here we can we cannot wait for the dialog because the page itself closed. So if I go and search for this alert message in my console, you can see that we are not getting anywhere. And this thing, right? So uh, starting test, starting step, title, go to page and everything. These are basically from my custom reporter. I will cover that in upcoming videos, okay? Now let's focus to the alert. So what is the problem here in the sense like this click action is done. So that is fine, but it, it will work only if there is a dialog. Before the dialog comes, the alert appears, the page is getting closed, right? So we have to use the explicit weight concept here. In Serenium, we say use like WebDriver wait, uh, wait until expected condition alert is present, right? Similar thing we can do in Playwright as well. We have to use like await page dot wait for event okay so we are going to wait for an event and event is basically what dialog right so here i have to select dialog now similarly if you want to uh, check for like frame attached you can use this if you want to wait for an uh, download you can use that and maybe like uh, some response or the pop-up or window loads you can wait for most of the events okay 
So in this scenario, we want this dialog. Let's see what happens now. Okay. So I'm going to bring up my terminal again and I'm going to run this again. Let's see. Hopefully it will run for sure. That's not a problem. Okay. So whenever there's a dialog and we have to wait for a dialog or the event of alert, we have to use the function called wait for event. Okay. So that is the explicit wait in playwright and it's really easy to understand and to implement as well. Now you might have seen that the alert is there and also you can see like alert message. Finally, I am here just to say hi, right? So that's it. So it's very easy. This is like your listener. We are waiting for the alert, but alert if doesn't appear very quickly, uh, then it don't work, right? So what we have to do is we have to say like wait for event and wait for event should be like after the click. So after the click action, we are waiting for this event. When this event trigger, then the space dot dot on dialog will work. Okay. So that's it for this video. I hope you have learned something new. If so, do let me know in the comments and see you in the next one. Very soon. Take care.